It's a throwback to a simpler time when a phone call cost a nickel, a cup of coffee only set you back a dime. Here's Tom Hayes now with a trip down memory lane on the 50th anniversary of Tim Hortons. Tom? Yeah, Gord, remember when a dime would actually buy you a cup of coffee? We were celebrating those days here at Young Dundas Square today. The day Tim Hortons opened and sold its first cup and the days when the Leafs used to hoist a cup. From the hustle and bustle of 2014, a quick peek over your shoulder can take you way back in time. The scene is 1964. You might recognize the old stools and the old photo of the founder that used to be on the wall inside every Tim Hortons shop. The first one opening in Hamilton 50 years ago. This is really more than just another throwback Thursday thing. It's a bit of a history lesson from the iconic coffee and donut maker. So if we're going to learn something today, maybe we should start at the beginning. He's got a breakaway over the blue line. How chasing him. Getting set, a backhand, he scores! Who was Tim Horton? Uh, the guy who owns Tim Hortons. Who's Tim Horton? A guy. Who was Tim Horton? Tim Hortons, a hockey player. What team? Maple Leaf. All right. This is the best textbook for this lesson, the Stanley Cup. Look under 1964, Tim Horton's name included with the Stanley Cup winning Toronto Maple Leafs. How many of your employees know who Tim Horton is? Every employee knows who Tim Horton is. So do you make sure of that? We do, we do. We make sure that they understand the, uh, the history of the brand and they understand where it started and where it is now. The starting lineup right here. These guys knew him well. They shared that 64 Cup with Horton. In my rookie year, the store was opened in, in Hamilton. And you joined the Leafs. And I was with the Leafs, and Timmy asked the whole team to come to the grand opening, which we did. Timmy, I, oh God, he was a great guy in, in front of me there. He's uh, one of the toughest guys, and I certainly didn't have to worry about anybody, not pu him pushing uh, away from me so I can see a clear shot on the net. The car of your dreams would cost you 2,500 bucks, a house in Toronto, about 20 grand, a shave and a haircut, two bits. A lot has changed. I'm looking behind you. What's with the blue and white? Uh, blue and white is the, uh, those are the original colors, Tom. Those are actually the colors that were used back on the original store that was uh, created in Hamilton, uh, Leafs colors. So blue Tim was white. trying to make a connection with the Leafs? Exactly. 50 years later, from one store to 4,400. Reasons for a big promotion that we thought we'd get in on too. City TV, stepping time, City TV, stepping time. Thanks for being a part of the mix and watching City News at 6. All right, and you know what? The prices were even better today. Free coffee and donuts for everyone. Live in Young Dundas Square, Gord, I'll send it back inside to you.